proposed motions for the student body. Um, first one is the proposal to stencil the sun due to PH3 girls. Um, just reading what it says here. Um, sale. This will suspend the sale of the sun and all of the stores until they cease to publish PH3 girls. Um, so the contact name is Andrea Edwards. Is that me? Yeah. So this is actually part of a national campaign. So if you log on to Facebook and click No More Page 3, you'll see under this um, 8,300, 83,000 8, 8, signatures in 24. Um, and that's basically because we want to get rid of this sign because it's an unage restricted publication. So anybody can access it and see the rest. We don't think that's particularly appropriate. Um, we're also not the first university to bring this issue up. In fact, it's been boycotted already that St. Edmund's Hall, Oxford, the London School of Economics, Sheffield University, Manchester Metropolitan, Metropolitan, and the University of Edinburgh. And Glasgow too. So it's not going to be a novel idea. But it would be quite nice if we could spread it to Dundee as well, just to show support and solidarity. Um, we got 170 uh, signatures, so we got some of those today. Uh, which was quite nice, and that was through um, various aspects of students. So I've got quite a lot of signatures from my medical group, some feminist design groups, and some bracket industry. Um, I think one of the main objections that people are going to see this is censorship and uh, interfering with freedom of the press. We don't feel that that's the case because it is a boycott, not a ban. So once the uh, sun removes page three, we kind of want the sale of the sun to return, um, and also. You can still buy the sun elsewhere, just not on university grounds. You can still read the sun and access it online. Does anybody wish to oppose the motion from the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I must start by saying that I too do not agree with page 3. Unlike the previous motion, however, I respect the rights of students who might manifest my viewpoint. In calling for the sun to be removed from shops on campus. Sure, sure. Sorry, just that guy, are you speaking against this particular motion? Or I am speaking against this particular motion. It's kind of my, 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 my motion opposes this motion directly, so anything I'd say, okay, sorry. Um, so, so this motion is to ask the important do so to treat students living with children, allowing for it to take what it is and what is not suitable for their eyes to see. This is a university, a place where conclusions should be drawn from reason to persuasion. Removing a paper from circulation without the consensus of the entire student body does nothing to uphold that belief. Does the proposer of this motion not believe that his viewpoint would be much more credible if students were enlightened as to why they should not be buying the sun, instead of being told that, in being represented by doing so, they are now obliged to oppose it? Would students voluntarily boycotting the newspaper not have a much more genuine effect than an arbitrary ban, which ignores the personal convictions of those effects? People do not appreciate having things taken away from them, and especially not when they are being told that it's for their own good. What places do to have certain students that what they choose to read is wrong? This will go from representing the views and rights of all, promoting the special interests of the select group, which, which no matter the merits of their argument, would be far from the balance and neutral stance that Lucy was supposed to take. I brought forth this motion in the hopes that the rights of individual students to make up their own minds about the issue would be appreciated. I believe the best way to bring about the end of page 3 would be to educate and not to admonish, to encourage debate and not to constrict it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so no one is obliged to oppose it. You can still go off campus and buy it as much as you can still access it online. Um, it's also not a select group. It is quite a widespread issue with all signatures. Um, yeah, then the floor is open. So we just have a okay. show of people who wish to speak with them, just like you Well, unlike these two, I am for these two. Uh, I have no shame to support the issue. The overriding issue, the proposed overriding issue here, I think, is uh, women's rights. So I was asking that kind of right. Okay. Well, the overriding issue, or the purported one by the floor over here, is women's rights, and I, can, I think I can speak on behalf of everyone. Everyone here supports promotion and progression of football rights for women. Um, but that's not the issue here. I did buy a copy of the Sun this morning on campus. It was my first time buying the Sun. 
Um, I'm much more of a telegraph Scotsman, and when I'm feeling extra right wing, I shall find Daily Mail. Um, and I can see, looking at this paper, it is very informative. The front page we've got a, the current crisis engulfing the Catholic Church. Inside, there's a story on beer tax. Um, I just ask you, you're going to read out the entire conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, support pages. Um, on page three, we've got a story about Pippa Middleton being offered a job as a checkout assistant at Waitrose. Um, and there's a picture of a large breast in the room. Yes, I think we're all going to your attention. Can we all agree that she does look rather happy? <laughs> that I think 
should be on it. I also, it, it would also add to the trying to make campus a safer space because at the moment, an NUS survey put the number in one in seven women that have been victims of rape or sexual assault on British university campuses by getting rid of all these other, like, the normal everyday objectification of women on page three can add to making the university not only the number one campus for nightlife, but the number one campus for safe spaces as well, which I think is something that should be taken into account. Yeah, it's not a ban, it's a boycott, and if you don't care about page three, then you won't care about those. So spot people who do care about it, you want it to go. It's been said a number of times from, from your possession so far that it's, it's a boycott and it's, it's not going to be available on campus, but you can go elsewhere and buy it. We've just had a report from the exec to say about the financial situation of the union at the moment. We only sell 20 copies of the Sun every day, and if you were to lose out on that, that's not a lot. But it's the people who come in and they buy their lunch and other things along with these items, like builders and contractors who are working on the campus. If they've then got to go somewhere else to buy the paper, they're going to buy their lunch and things there as well. So we're not just missing out on 20 pence per paper, we're missing out on four or five pounds every time someone goes somewhere else to buy paper, which actually equates to thousands of pounds a year, which is missed out by the union, which would help the situation that we're currently in. So I would just like to ask, where do you propose that we actually find the money that we're going to miss out on from not selling paper? Well, you're assuming that they are going to go somewhere else, they might just buy an alternative paper. Um, and also, you're kind of assuming that they're spending a high amount of money if they buy the house. I wouldn't spend that on them. Have you seen the price? It's true, it is a bit pricey. So, I don't think it would necessarily lose our money. Plus, sometimes it might encourage people to go there a little bit more. I feel like it's not the case. It, it would be hard to actually predict that contract. Yeah, I'm not actually arguing against the objectification or even the self in itself. I'm sort of arguing against um, more questioning, I guess, a couple of things you said. One of which was the reason behind um, why you're objecting to something so in the there, and that is that there's no over 18 age restriction. Um, surely that's something that you would be arguing for rather than fan of some, you're going to use that as an argument. I would say that you know the, the reasoning for it not being over 18 censorship, um not censorship, if, if there's an over 18 fan, that was one of the reasons why you said that you're not you're not for the sun, then use that as an argument which you're going to put forward to some paper that there should be censorship or there should be an age restriction. The second one was your um, rather arbitrary argument against um, the fact that you want to boycott this, which means that it will be so clear. So you're saying, but that doesn't stop people from reading it on campus. Well, you are restricting people from buying it, which is their choice. And um, I would argue that if someone is over the age of 18, which was your argument before, where is that if it, uh, the over 18 ban you put in place? If they're over, over the age of 18, they have a choice whether to buy something or not. If you disagree with the content of it, make it more specific. Can you speak up, please? Just to make it a separate magazine, an age restricted page three, like it is on their website. There is a page three website that's just the content of page three, and it's set on a separate website. Why not? If you like that, you don't want to So why would not that be argument put forward today? I think. Well, what well, choose one that you think was effective. You're saying that was one of them, but you don't need okay. to be Just off kind of a side conversation here, I think, in order, you know, in terms of time, we should be creating a motion for us and all other possible courses of action. I don't know if I can respond to the age restriction. And no one here is asking for not so like if you or any the other sort of thing. I hear your magazine is taken out. We're talking about the sun, which actually does not have a restriction on it. So if you were going into the shop and buying nuts, for example, we're not asking for nuts to be taken out because that is explicitly a pornographic material. Whereas the sun is a paper and therefore does not have a pornographic material. Can I get it? Who's the question? Let's hide your back. I think you've already spoken to 
should uh, actually like to listen to somebody else. Maybe so okay, keep it flowing. If I have time, I'll come back to you to kind of. Um, yeah, I'm viewing the, your points about age restrictions and obviously there's different points of view to that. For me, it's totally not about that. Boobs are not news. They should not be in a newspaper. They can be in a different magazine, that's fine. You want to have porn, totally fine, but don't put it in a newspaper. Uh, we have, that's what the national petition is. It says, dear the publisher's name. Um, and I also, you know, I'm so pleased that people find your speech hilarious. As a feminist, I obviously don't have a sense of humour, but, <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, actually, I, did actually, I, I really felt uncomfortable with what you're saying. It's not just a picture. Of course it's not just a picture. Of course it's not. That is, can I um, That is a woman, naked, in a newspaper, with her breasts on show, for the viewer to gaze at. Now, yeah, it's her choice. There is arguments around that, obviously. But objectification of women is part of a much wider culture. It's about women not feeling safe. It's about women not being represented in politics or the media or big business, all of those things. It's about women feeling not safe to walk home at night. It's women, about women being shouted at in the street. Okay? It might, it's not just a picture in the newspaper. It's so naive and arrogant to say that it's just a piece. It's just a picture. Of course it's not a picture. It's much more than that. Like when someone makes a choice to like have that picture taken of themselves, like 
like all choices, it doesn't exist in a vacuum. It exists as part of a society where like, we do objectify women like in general, and that's why like it's not empowering because society dictates that it's not in the same way that you say oh like well why don't we just all like you know if you're buying the paper then that's the wrong decision but the thing is again that choice isn't made in a vacuum it's made within a society that like encourages like you know like you can have like rooms along with your news you know what i mean like it's just that's like so objectifying do you know what i mean it's like it's the sense that like women can't be from that objectification, so they can't make those kind of choices because of the society we live in. And it's like making a change from that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so kind of just to address a few points that have been brought up, kind of bring it all together. Like, the way you said here, that we do live in a society where, where we are saying what we need to be, we are saying to go about our business. Um, we might not know people who have raped or sexually assaulted women, but I'm sure that we all know women who have been raped or sexually assaulted. Um, one in four women on, camp, uh, on university campuses are women. One in seven or one in four women are sexually assaulted. <coughs> How do you want to define this? So um, that does happen. And just yesterday, it happened to me. And I'm angry about that. And I'm angry that we live in a society where th this thing is, it exists and it makes it OK to leer at women. Um, I also want to say that we've never used morality argument about this. If you knew some of our group, you would know that we are not against porn at all. Okay? Um, we're not saying that people shouldn't look at naked women. We're saying that it doesn't exist in a vacuum. We never used the words, never talked about it being in the manner of taste, we never said it was disgusting, we never said it offended us, we said it's awful, that's not being offended. Um, so in short, boycotted to send a message and to show that, that yeah, we should take women's issues seriously. Yeah, the independence question is an important one, but so is, so are women's issues. We are expected to pretend even more of this population, and that matters. Um, I've heard a lot of good points tonight, both from people in favour of this motion and people against people in favour saying that this is symptomatic of society which doesn't treat women particularly fairly and that message has to be sent that perhaps women can deserve better treatment. The people against saying that if you do this it's a slippery slope, other things may begin to get bad and also the people deserve a freedom of choice. But there is a way of combining both of these arguments and actually reaching a solution and it's not to pass a motion through the AGM of the Students Association. The message can be sent by just speaking to other people, speaking from your heart, explaining what your concerns are. And if you do this, the feminist society and other women on campus and other men on campus and people at other universities and people in their workplaces, the message will be spread around the UK. But if you pursue a message like this, there's going to be negative reactions. And there's a risk that this whole thing will be stifled or politicized the very good intention behind it will be lost. And so that's why I urge everybody tonight to vote against this motion. This is part of a national campaign. So there is 83,000 people who have signed this petition. And like I say, a number of universities have already started boycotting it. So if we get momentum behind it, there's no reason to assume it wouldn't work. Rupert Murdoch already said himself that he doesn't really like page 3 particularly much and would want to buy like a shit if he's an online. I'm not really one of the more visible faces around here. I am the Vice President of Student Welfare of DESA. So I kind of have a vested interest in the welfare of students on campus, obviously. Now, to me, this is an issue of objectification more than any other feminist issue or societal issue. It is all not in a vacuum, and we do have to take that into consideration. As an issue of boobs are not news, so I would like to focus on that when we're looking at this issue. Don't think about slippery slopes. Don't think about Oh, what do we ban all the pornography? We're all adults here. We can look at boobs. But the thing about page three is it's targeted towards the male gaze. Now, there are women who like to look at boobs. I'm not going to treat that. But the fact of the matter is, it does not belong in the newspaper. You want to get your rocks off, you can go do that in private. I need to be happy. With pornography, you can look at various lad that are out there. I can't get my hat over here. 
but uh, basically try and take a look at this issue from the point of boycotting it to get the message out there. The boobs are not news. I'm sorry, this is very distracting. <laughs> But, um, basically we're looking at this nationally and as a university, if we boycott this, we are adding ourselves to the list of people that want to see page three taken as a separate thing. We are adding ourselves as a university, as a group of people. Now DUSA doesn't have to represent your view specifically. If you disagree, you are more than free to speak that out as loud as you can. You can go through the media outlets. You can come to us, you can talk on Facebook, through every social media outlet you can. You can do all that. This is just something that we might think represents the majority of students of its past year, and we will make this choice to stop selling the sun and add ourselves to this list of 83,000 people who want page three to be removed from the sun. I agree with the earlier gentleman that proposed that we should rather engage with our fellow students and discuss the issue to reason. When we had our rector come in earlier on today and encourage us to engage in our fellow, with our fellow students, the way to do that is to reason with them, to have meetings, to have presentations. It isn't to censor ideas. It's a university establishment. This is where thinkers are supposed to think for themselves, not be told how to think about people. Like I said, I don't think it's censoring that we've been in any shape or form because we can't buy it how we live. And you can still access the sun online, so you're restricted. You're not being restricted to getting into the future once you want to. You are. No, you're being restricted to buy the shop, but you're not being stopped. We are not here, though. But I kind of agree, we should have more discussion. We should also encourage people to uh, think about why the sun uh, is doing this in the mind of the world. So you can die do you want to sum up that? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say quickly that education is key to this. Um, we, need to, we need to tell people why they shouldn't be uh, supporting page three instead of just telling them that it's wrong. Uh, we should also, also take into account the, the morality should not be institutionalised. We should not have an entire student uh, association saying that it is wrong for us to think this. We should allow people to make up their own minds about the issue and only in that way can you have a proper consensus on campus. That's when the so we'll start with all those in favour of the motion to prevent the sun. Uh, so the the